I wish I had a class like this. If I was when I first went and, and started working in the theater, I wish I had somebody that really was in the industry that knew what they were doing and had been doing it for a long time. And that was primarily their their way of making a living, and you know had some ways to show me what not to do. I, I come around to Jeff whenever I need help with an audition or I, something in my parts just really stumping me and I don't know how to play it. <laughs> Like a lot of the time there's some lines that just seem like they don't belong in a scene and Jeff will really make them make sense to you. Working with Jeffrey for the first time, he's really hands-on, which is something I really like. He's just really like opens your mind to what things that you didn't see before. Like something that is so simple, he can just see it like that and you had no idea it was even there. There really is no one way to be an actor. There's no one way to approach uh, performance. There's many ways to do it, and I think that what's important is what works. So what I'd like to do with students is to find really the mechanism that really works best for them and go in that direction, and then give them opportunities to find other ways to do it as well. Have you ever tried? I'm trying right now. To row crew? Sing an acapella group to a row crew. No, are you like whatever delusional? Yeah, this is confusing, isn't it? It's a confusing moment when you say, "Have you ever tried?" What are you referring to? Um, acapella, an acapella group. Really? Um, because he says right before that he says, "You know the." Oh, he never got it. He didn't get anything wrong on the test. Yeah. Yeah. He finally admits to it, right? Because you ask him from the very beginning, "What is he? What do you mean?" You didn't get anything wrong? That's not human. Yeah. And then finally you go through this whole banter and then all of a sudden he goes, he throws you the left hook. It's, it's actually really nice to have like a, a, like a film and television class coming to Ventura really because here in Ventura the only thing I've really gotten to do is just theater. I, I, I mean I love the theater and it's, it's a blast to do but I mean it's, it's a whole different style of acting like even right now I'm having trouble like not looking at the camera because I'm so not used to it being there and I mean if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be working down in LA and trying to get into film and television then I need to start learning about it so I think it's great that it's here. I, I think that there's something really quite um, freeing with being a f film and television actor because there's you don't have to deal with the proceeding you don't have to deal with the limitations of the theater is the, the theater has its own beauty which is that it's you alone on that stage when that curtain goes up it's uh, it's just you and the playwright and, and the audience and uh, there's a great luxury to that there's a great freedom to that in terms of its own limitations but the same thing applies to film and television, and that is it's limited to the time that you have to prepare, dealing with people that you're not familiar with, uh, environments that you're not familiar with, that you're thrown into. The distractions of film and television acting, I think, are something that very few actors are taught coming up in the theater world, that uh, it's pretty surprising and pretty shocking unless you've had some sort of introduction to that.